Hi, welcome to Harry's Pixink Tight video tutorials. In this video, we'll be doing some noise reduction using the ACD NR tool. I'm again using M106 from the previous tutorials, in which I've applied the DBE, done a histogram stretch, and lastly, done some HDR wavelets. Okay, let's select the ACD NR tool. Okay. I only want to apply this tool to areas of low signal, like the outer arms of M106, as the middle of M106 doesn't really have any noise. So I'm going to do this with the aid of this luminance mask at the bottom here. What we do this, we need to click on the preview box, activate the real time preview. Now on this mask here, Areas of dark, or very dark, offer high protection against the process, and areas of light offer none at all. So areas where we have areas of high signal, we want a lot of protection, so we adjust the sliders over until we get probably too much of that. There we go. The background we want to leave light and the areas with low signal you want somewhere in the middle. Okay, I think that's about right. Better close that down and check the preview box. Now most of the settings and parameters down here we can leave in the default setting and I have in 99% of the times. But these two settings here we leave like this for 95% of the times and again I'm going to leave them for default for this setting. What we're interested in is, is standard deviations. The areas between one and a half and three would be for small scale noise reduction which is like in the areas of the arms of M106. Larger numbers like 5 and 6 we would use on the background or large scale noise. Um, but this case I'm going to use 2 for the luminance. Now the eye is better at seeing detail in the luminance so when we come to the chrominance which is a posh word for colour we can apply a heavier setting. Remember to check the luminance mask to enable the mask that we've made a little bit earlier. Go back to luminance and check that. Okay, we're now ready to apply. Now we could apply this to the whole image, but it's um, a time consuming affair. And to make things easier, better, and faster, we're going to use a preview. The preview can be activated by this little box up here or Alt N on the keyboard. Which is what I'm going to do. Just form on one with your mouse. Okay, so we've taken an area of the arms of 106 and a bit of the core so we can see what's going on. You can do more than one preview if you like, but I'm just going to work for one preview at this moment. So just the sidebar, click it to activate the preview. Okay, we can now see with greater detail what's happening. So what we're going to do is click on the new instance, drag it to the preview and fairly quickly we can see the result. I hope you can see that um, the noise has been greatly reduced but if we go up to this little box up here which is on the top right we can undo the preview and redo the preview to make sure we're happy with the results. Now when you are happy just go back to the main image and carry out the instance on the whole of the image. And this takes quite a while to do, so instead of making you wait, I'm going to go to another workspace where I've done this earlier. We've now dealt with the small scale noise in the arms of M106, and you can choose to deal with the, some of the larger scale noise in the background, um, but for this you would need to use a higher setting of probably 5 in the luminance and 6 in the chrominance but you also need to apply 
a much heavier mask, something like this, to really protect the areas of interest because it's only the background you're going to apply this um, noise reduction to. But um, in this case, I'm actually not going to do that because I'm slightly of the opinion that um, less is more sometimes. And if you're not careful, you can end up with a blotchy background. But experimentation is the way to go in most things, and that's down to you. What I'm going to do is just delete that preview. Now, one benefit of noise reduction is we're able to carry out a further histogram stretch. Because if you look at the beginning of the histogram now, we now have an unused portion, which we can just drag the slides across. Look in here on the shadows. Remember, never clip. And we can probably give the midtones just a moderate boost. And drag that onto the image. And there we go. Look forward to seeing you next time.